On Friday the 11th of November, the Kingspan hosts the world famous Barbarians as they play Fiji in what promises to be an absolute rager at the Rugger. Three Ulster men are playing in the game. I caught up with them for some outrageous chat. Yeah, so it's just wash, condition, blow dry, comb, paste, clay, spray, bosh. Monon's favourite son is Barry McGuigan, but I'm here with Tommy Boo. Uh, Tommy, the barbarians bring the other players from all over the world, but where's the best place you've been to in the world? <laughs> uh, I think we are in the best place in the world in Belfast, and that's why we're going to have uh, such a star studded team coming here. And that's why we need Ruan, myself and Dan in the team. But uh, hopefully we'll show the guys a good night out, show them what Belfast has to offer. I actually had North Down as the answer there. Great, greatest place in the world. Yeah, so just finish with a T-bar pull down, four sets, 20 reps, you know yourself anyway. Um, Dan, you were giving me the, the, the big call up for the Barbarians. Did, did you think it was a prank when you first heard? <laughs> I did. <laughs> so you just put the laces through it, lean back, and uh, make, make, make sweet contact. Um, a bona fide Ulster legend, me to Ruin Pienaar. Ruin, the, the Barbarians are uh, players selected by invite, but what's the best thing you've ever been invited to? <laughs> uh, I think Tommy Bowe's housewarming was quite good a couple of weeks ago. He's never invited me before, so we had quite a good time at his house. It was good to see how the rich and famous live here in Belfast. You've got to get yourself to North Down, Ruin. Different world, mate. Absolute different world. Tommy, the Babas have, have played Fiji twice, uh, but what do you bench, bro? <laughs> uh, not as much as Nondolo, the Fijian winger. Have you seen Have you seen the size of that guy? Yeah, yeah. He is enormous, so hopefully I'll be picked on the opposite wing from him because that guy will be benching me, I'd say, if I have to come up against him. The Babas played at the 1908 Olympics. If you went to the Olympics, how would you pass the time in the Olympic Village? Uh, good question. Thank you. Um, I would rat some of the drug drug treats out and go and see, do some expose. Exposing? To you behind the scenes. Oh, okay. I thought you meant ge general yeah, exposing I'm, around the village. That's what I need to get done, yeah. This showdown people wait for for a long time, me asking the big questions, do, do, do yourself. The, the players of the Barbarians, they wear their own club socks, but roughly how, how many pairs of socks do you own? Um, actually, not too many. I'm a bit of a, a clean freak, so I give my wife uh, a bit of trouble at home. So I throw most of the old stuff out. So I'm actually in need of some new pairs, a uh, couple pairs of socks. So. Well, look to anybody watching, you want to donate or whatever, get get the man some socks. So, Dal, what can people expect during the game, mate? Offloads, tries, more offloads, and general just, just absolute like banter on the pitch. The Barbarians were formed in 1890, but if I gave you £1,890 right now, how would you spend it? Uh, holiday. don't know where it would get me to go to, maybe North Down. Well, you're from Monaghan. This is a holiday, you know what I mean? <laughs> Belfast, the big smoke. This is the big Broad smoke. Broadband. Coming here, first year university down the Holy Lands. It didn't get much bigger than this. Did you used to live in the Holy Lands? I did, Agincourt Avenue. I think that's unbelievable motivation for people to succeed in life that this guy actually lived in the Holy Lands. Holy Lands. And now he's got a job. I know, who would have thought? Unbelievable. I was one of the ones partying on Agincourt Avenue back in the day. Great times. Filthy. You weren't invited. Hanging out in Royal Belfast with your little Prosecco. <laughs> uh, Ruin, what are you looking forward to most uh, by playing for the Barbarians again? Um, yeah, I think you get to play with players you don't normally get to play with and obviously it's a bit more of a, a social get-together than, than uh, rugby, so it's a bit less stressful, so um, should be good. It's glad to have Tommy and, uh, and Dan there as well to look after me, so it should be a good night out and hopefully we'll get a good crowd. Might be able to steal a few pairs of socks there as well. Yeah, sure. Rude, top man. Cheers. Thanks a million.